Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. This is uh, going to be an unboxing of the Speed and Strength S2600 uh, Adventure Style Helmet. Uh, this is the one I talked about last time that we we're going to do the unboxing. I still have an unboxed Super 73. We'll do a uh, video on that as well. So let's cut the box open and take a look at this helmet. So this helmet, I got it on Amazon, about $115. Uh, free shipping, and it got here pretty quick. It got here in about four days, three days. Uh, it came from Power Sport Superstore Inc. out of Cedar Park, Texas. So here's the box that came in. So this says it came with a free shield included. So I don't know if they're talking about the clear shield or the uh, the one that comes tinted on there. Here's the helmet. Came with a came with a helmet bag, and here's the shield. So it looks like they put the blue shield. Yeah, it looks like they put the blue shield in the bag. I'm sorry, in the box, and then the bag they just apply as a clear shield. So it's got the Speed and Strength logo on there. Like I said, I've never I've never owned Speed and Strength. I always thought it was like squid and kind of stunter kind of things I know you guys will probably blow me up in the comments for that but um, it's supposed to be good stuff I think it's a Canadian company there we go so I ended up going with the gray and a lot of people buy the black one with the gold but the reason I want to go with the black and gold is because it gets hot here in San Diego sometimes, a lot of times actually in the summer, and uh, it's way, the helmet gets really hot. I've had black helmets, but they get hot when you're riding in the heat. So so this is the, the light gray one. It looks like it already has the clear shield on there. Okay, so this got a, here's a vent in the front. Some people are complaining that these don't vent very well. But then I've read, I was reading in the comments that they actually bent not too bad. So it looks like it has really good padding in it. It even has a chin screen on it too, which is really nice. I like these. Uh, for you guys that ride, now, I know this is going to be for, the, you know, for riding the e-bikes, the e but when I used to ride motorcycles and I had no uh, chin screen, they were terrible because if you hit dirt or gravel or whatever, I would get dust up in my face and it would blind me sometimes, so pretty dangerous. But it's always good to have a chin screen on there. So, this is not a modular helmet, this is a solid helmet. Like I said, it's more adventure. So you can pop this open, and also, it has, looks like it has a visor. So, it's got a visor on it too, a smoked visor. That's pretty cool. Actually, I didn't even know I had that. So that's actually really cool. I could. So for you guys that ride at night, I never recommend riding with a, I don't know how clear this is, I've had shields, actually just by looking through here, I could tell it's kind of dark, but um, I don't like riding with smoke shields at night. I've been caught in it when I used to ride motorcycles, but I don't recommend it because it's kind of dangerous. You can't really see too well with people walking and crossing the street, street and stuff. You can't always see them. So this is a good feature that's got the clear shield, and then you got the, uh, the drop-down smoke screen. So you have vents right here. Looks like you got you can completely close it off. You could go minimal. It's fully adjustable, fully open. It's got vents on the side right here. It's got vent ports on top. Looks like you can open and close these vents with a switch. Vents in the rear. Uh, this is uh, it's, it's called the Fame and Fortune model. It's, looks like it has really good padding. It's really good. Looks like there's a good place for uh, putting a mic in there. I don't know what these little chrome deals are here. Maybe it's just accents for the for the helmet. And this is a this is a medium. So let me actually put it on because I know that size is very when you go in uh, into the when you get into the large portion of helmets the, the the size of the shell tends to go bigger, and a lot of people don't like the bobblehead look. And I could already tell that by, by uh, looking at the shell of this helmet, 
It's not very big. It's actually smaller than my showy was. It actually looks pretty nice. There's also an adjustment for the visor. You just spin this and you could raise the, the visor or bring it down, which I think it's uh, it's in the fully down uh, fully down uh, position right now. So let me put this on. And remember, guys, you need to go to a, some kind of store to get properly sized for a helmet if you've never had a motorcycle helmet because you can't just put it on and say, oh, it's comfortable. So this helmet, okay. So I can tell you right now that this helmet fits very, very snug. I'm a medium. I get a medium in a in a showy, a ride, and some other brands. And I'm a I'm I'm a medium oval in shape. Some of you guys, if you don't know about helmets, you, that's one of the reasons you can't just buy any helmet. You need to go try one on at a store. So um, make sure you go to a store and get properly fitted for a helmet. But I'm going to tell you right now, this fits a little tight. Uh, not tight, but it's very snug. So it feels like it needs to be broken in. Uh, I usually don't. Uh, the Showies and the Arise, for example, and some of the other brands, they usually fit pretty good and they're already comfortable off the, you know, right off the shelf. But this one fits a little snug. So just giving you guys a heads up for you guys that are mediums, it's going to be a little snug on the cheeks and in the back right here by the ears. So it's going to have to break in on the, uh, on the for the padding inside. But uh, but I think once it breaks in, it should be fine. I did read some somewhere where someone said that it, it, feel, it fit a little snug. So uh, so this is the Speed and Strength 2600, the S2600. And if you guys have any other questions, um, I'll be reviewing the helmet on the ride too later. And if you have any questions, just put in the comments anything. Hit the like, hit the you know thumbs down, whatever, and uh, subscribe and comment and just ask questions. I'll see you guys on the next one.